Hey guys, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Derwent Ink Tints uh, Colored Pencil or Watercolor Pencils. This was kind of how it turned out. Very fun to use and stay tuned. I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, so today we're going to test out these uh, Derwent, I think it's I'm saying that right, Ink Tints 24. There's 24 colored pencils that are actually watercolor uh, pigments. So you can um, blend them like you do with watercolors. So we're going to give it a shot. I want to mainly use this to water, uh, color in my stamps. So we're going to do two different ones. I have the Hipsters uh, by Tim Holtz here. And I also have the um, another one by Tim Holtz, the Crazy Birds. I, these are two of my favorite ink stamps that he uh, come out with. I also have the thinlet dies to be able to cut them out perfectly. And we'll be using the cuddle bug. So we're going to get started. All right. Okay. So we're going to start with the uh, hipster stamp set first. And let's do the chicken here. I think it'd be fun to color in with these. I am using the uh, Tim Holtz um, stamping platform. I have the lower size one now. I prefer this one. This is so much better than the big one. Easier to store because now I have limited space since I moved as everyone knows on my channel about a year ago. So um, before I get started on that I should mention to you. So I use the Canson watercolor paper uh, 400, 140 pounds weight. Uh, this is cold press because I like the texture that uh, cold press has. Uh, hot press means smooth watercolor. Cold press is the texture. It does have a smoother side if you turn it over, but I like the texture. So I buy this. Uh, another great one is um, um, Bristol paper. It's a good paper too. Um, I can get it at my local um, Hobby Lobby store, but I go to Walmart more than anywhere because that's just why I shop a lot. And they carry this, and it's really cheap. And it, to me, it works just as well. Um, and you also, too, you, your Cricut machine will cut this. I have used my Cricut machine to cut it. There is, I believe, a setting in there for watercolor paper. Um, and so, or your trimmer, your Cricut trimmer can cut this just fine, too, which is actually what we're going to do. We're going to cut that down a little bit. Get that out of here. I do try to save as much paper as possible so I don't like to waste. So I always save my scraps. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there that do crafting does that too. I think it's stupid to be wasteful. As little as possible. Yeah, that looks about half there. See, cuts it perfect. All right. So. Another thing is, I'm, if you're not familiar, this one ha does both clear and red rubber. If you can read the rubber, that means it's rubber side. Take it off, flip it around. You can see the clear now. You can read clear. So, but we're going to be using red rubber. So, keep it on this side here. And let's do that. And let's try to put him in the middle of the mess. Don't want to be perfect, we're going to cut it out. So, pick it up. The ink that I like to use, this has always been one of my favorites, is by Spellbinders uh, Celebration. Uh, Richard Gray, I believe, is who made this ink or made the formula. It's called Berry Black. It is a great, does a great job. It does not run with the water. That's why I like this one. Uh, it's really permanent. So,. I like to ink it up pretty good, but the great thing about a stamp platform is you can do it over and over and over till you get good image. I like to do it about three times. Probably don't have to do it that much, but I like to get a good impression. So that looks really good. And as everybody might know in my past videos, I'm a big fan of using 
baby wipes. They're very versatile for crafters, as I'm sure you have found out. Um, they just do a great job of cleaning up you know, your messes and ink and all that. Also for your mats, your Cricut mats. I did a video on that, so go back and look if you don't know how to use them to clean up your Cricut mats. It really does a great job. I don't like to get all the ink off my stamps because it keeps them seasoned. So I just wipe it down to where there's not a bunch on there. So now we can set this to the side. And let's get the fin thinlet die out here. We're going to look for this guy here. And that's not it, isn't it. All but the one I need. <laughs> there it is. There's the one that's going to do the whole thing. The next thing you're going to need is your cuddle bug or whatever you're going to use to do it with. Um, you can use electric one or the cuddle bug, which I'm a big fan of the cuddle bugs. And if you don't know already, they're discontinuing this, so if you can get one, I would get it now. Don't wait. Um, I guess got to do with all the tariffs and everything going on with the China. They had to cut um, the cuddle bug line because they couldn't make it anymore. It's too expensive, they said, with all the taxations. So, the thing about thinlet dies, you got to line everything up, which is really kind of relatively easy. So I do that over here. Move this out of the way a little bit. And I use a little piece of washi tape, you know, just to help hold it down once we get in our area. I, mean, I do have a magnet plate on here, which helps a lot, but I like to make sure it stays secure. So I still use um, washi tape once I get it right where I want it. Um, and it takes a second here to line everything up. Because the more time you spend doing this, it's going to look a lot better, trust me. I did learn that. That looks good. A little piece of washi tape here. And I just usually put it, try to keep it out of the ink area. All right, now we'll bring our, you just feed it in like you do any other time. The popping and cracking noise is normal. That one didn't make too much. Um, the limitation of the cuddle bug is probably at its max with this watercolor paper because it is so thick. Pop it out here. And sometimes the hair in this watercolor paper does not want to come out very easily. There we go. Now, on to our coloring. So, let's do a basic, really, mock up of this. Not really use these much. I'm only at one other time. So let's do a little bit of yellow here. And what's what I understand, um, you don't have to go real dark or anything, just get it on there where you want it. Because the water is going to help it blend. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so it don't take so long this video. You see here I like using that to wipe off the bristles just to keep colors from mixing too much. 
So now it's great to be added to a card. I think it turned out great. So if you guys like to get these pencils, I'll put a link down in my description. I'm glad you guys stayed tuned for this, and I hope you enjoyed me using the, I think it's called Derwent. I think I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the Derwent colored pencils, or watercolor pencil, I guess they should are called. But I, I really like them a lot. They're not that bad priced. Amazon has a really good price on these. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I appreciate my viewers and being here. And please share my video. That helps to spread and grow my channel and helps me out. So once again, thanks guys. Bye.